Alright, what's up wannabes, it's uh, Lanshin with the TCG wannabes, and today we are going to be doing Galissapod Zoroark. Now, um, I've seen some decks like that use this, um, like, you know, our Zoroark with stand-in, put a floatstone on it, so you get an instant Galissapod first impression with... 120 um, attack that turn. Uh, I've seen it a lot. I mean, I've seen it in a couple channels, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. I like the, I liked how the deck really functioned, and this really digs for your stuff. Um, now I am opting for a smaller Zoroark line, just because I, I don't know. I have the Zoroarks for it, but I just don't. I feel like it needs to be a little bit lower because this is what we're mainly focusing on. And I mean, we have this for a secondary attacker and this for another. I mean, it's just this is what we're really going for. Um, so, I mean, it's a good deck. I like it a lot. Um, I haven't got to test too much with it. But from what I've played, I've enjoyed a lot. Uh, but, you know, let's just get straight into the deck profile. Uh, we got, you know, three Zoras uh, with, from Shining. Legends, I believe. Yeah, Shining Legends. Um, you know, the DCE 20 attack. I mean, it, it could come up. I, it's just, you know, that's what people are saying. Um, Zorark stand in, you know, for standing in and then floating back. Um, and of course, Mind Jack is a really good attack. It could get up to 160. So, um, and then, you know, the two Zorark GX uh, with a trade in ability, right is beating. We're not going to be using Trickster GX because we're not running any, any rainbow energies. Um, we are playing four wind pods. Um, I had to get the shiny one in there, but uh, four wind pods and three gloss pod GX. Now these wind pods are from Burning Shadows, I believe. Um, yeah, they're from Burning Shadows. But uh, I like the wind pod ability. You know, it has no retreat cost on the first turn, so that means your first technically second turns I mean it's got free retreat so you can retreat back into something that so it gets, it's safe pretty much and then Glissapod you know it's Glissapod you need to run it um Tabagoko that's the one promo um I don't have any more but if I had more Tabagokos um you know I, I don't know if I'd run it I think the Zorark stand in is really good I just I think flying, I think Kabagoko promo, and you know, flying flips spread some damage, but I'm only going to run one. It is a good addition to the deck, though. It really helps out. Um, and then two pop, 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 <laughs> Tapu Lele GX. It, it's Tapu Lele. Uh, two field blower. Um, you know, Garbodor. You need that because you're going to be using abilities. Um, heavy ball. To get a instant Galizapod into your hand or a Wimpod Synergy. Not really Synergy. Um, but two Rescue Stretcher. I've been liking two Rescue Stretcher a lot lately. Um, so I definitely offer two Rescue Stretcher, except especially in stage one decks uh, where you have one out and then you just Rescue Stretcher for one and then, you know, it, it's good. Uh, four Ultra Ball. You know, four Ultra Ball. It's staple. Uh, two Acerolas, since we aren't playing Rainbow Energies, I didn't really see the need of playing three or four, so I am only playing two. Uh, two Bridget, I was going to cut this down to one, but I think if you prize the Bridget with this deck, because you need to set up your Zoroarks and Zoroarks and stuff like that, I think um, you need two Bridget. Uh, four Guzmas, uh, this is his ace Pokemon, so, and they work well together, so definitely four Guzmas. Uh, one Mallow, uh, just for that, you know, combo. You're not always going to use it, but when you use it, it's going to be powerful. As I said in my Decidueye Zoroark deck, I didn't like it. Just, I didn't like it, but I think with this deck, um, you definitely want it. It just helps you get to your other stuff, like stuff you need, like Choice Bands, Floatstone, stuff like that. I really do think it's it's good to, as a one of in this deck. I could bump it up to two by cutting a Bridget, but I think one of is is pretty well. Um, four ends. It's four ends. Uh, three Sycamores. You're using a lot of trade ends, and you don't really need to draw into a lot, so uh, four... I mean, three Sycamores is good. Uh, two Wallies. Now, some people might question this, but if you think about it, if you got a Zoro out in the field, 
um, and you want to start digging for stuff, you know, all you got to do is wally it. You just got to wally it. You can, you can wally up uh, Wimpod and Glissapod as well. Um, if you guys keep hearing notifications in the background, that's a phone. I don't know where it's coming from. It's it's in a room somewhere. Um, but, you know, just get a Glissapod straight up and then you just start going. I like uh, wally a lot in this deck. Um, three choice span, you know, doing 150 is pretty good. Doing about 190 is pretty good. Doing 150 is pretty good. Um, four float stone, you need it for this whole thing. And if you guys, if you're floating around and stuff like that off uh, with your Zora GX and like put it, put it on a Glizzapod, you know, just to it, it four float stone, you need it in this deck for just constantly switching out. Uh, four DCEs, uh, you kind of need it for your Zoroarchs. And you kind of need it for your armor press and crossing cut GX and your Tapu Coco flying flip and your Tapu Lele. You know, you need that. And only six grass energies. Um, I think that's a good amount. But uh, now that that's said, let's just hop straight into a match or a game. Um, I was just working on my theme decks. So. Uh, not my theme bags, but my, um, what is it called? The freaking, um, challenges, challenges for this. So that's why my theme deck thing was up, but let's see what we get paired up against. I have the advantage. It's looking like Volcanion. Wonderful. Yeah, let's go first. Okay. Um... It's a good start. We got a top of Coco. You know, we can spread some damage out. We also get uh, Zorua and Wimpod. Well, one Zorua and two Wimpod, which that's actually pretty good. So let's just put all of these out. Um, and we did draw grass. I think I know what this what deck this is. I don't know if I should. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Let's attach Flowstone onto that. A choice fan onto that. And I feel like I just want to start attacking. Uh, no, let's put that on there. We definitely want to do that. Now, if we don't get a Zoroark out quickly, we are going to be in a rough position, people. Okay. A Rim Raid? No, oh, alright. Uh, I think he's just preparing for a... Uh, wow. Right, that was a good top deck. <laughs> I think he's just preparing for... He probably has Octillery in hand. Um, he just doesn't want to get everything knocked out. Like, if this gets knocked out first turn, you know I win. Um, but I hope our, our opponent turns it around so you guys can actually see uh, some good gameplay. Um, now, this deck... Like I said, if we don't get our Zora work out, we're having some issues. Um, I think guess they top deck the Bridget. Um, so I mean, like, we need to get this out. Hopefully, our top deck is going to be good enough. Um, okay, he's playing a whole bunch of different. Uh, did we just get? Ooh, we just got goof for a Charizard. Ooh, we. And we don't draw into something good. Okay, let's just keep flying, flipping, uh, spread that damage. Hopefully, we can draw into a draw supporter. Now, this is why I think if we drew Mallow at this point, our opponent's just going to concede. You know, that's cool. We didn't really have a great start, anyways. So let's let's go into another match. Oh, I reached my goal, the thing, the 330. Okay. Cool, I get 150 coins. Let me play. Please and thank you. Let me play. Thank you. So hopefully we draw a better hand this time. Um, if not, you know, that's cool. Um, now, if we don't get our Zorar GX, like I said, 
it's going to be kind of hard to start progressing into the game. Um, he's got the advantage. I don't know what he's going to be playing. Probably Vickable, uh Bulu, uh, which could be a rough matchup if I really think about it. Well, if we are able to cross and cut a uh, Bulu, then we would be fine. But um, we did not draw a basic. We did not draw a basic. Okay, we're gonna mulligan. Okay. And we start with a Lele. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Now I do think this Wally is gonna come in clutch. Um, he's still picking Pokemon, cool. Yes, it's Vickable Bulu. <sighs> Great. And she's not looking too happy, but the good th not the, the good thing is, is that having Wally. I mean, if we bridge it f and then get all of our stuff out, I mean, we're gonna have a Zoroark coming down the turn after, and then we're gonna have our Wally be evolving something up into a Galissa Pod, and now we do have the Floatstone to retreat back into the retreat back to Lele. But I think we're gonna hold this Lele out in the front. Um, just until we get, we start rolling and stuff like that. So, okay. So we're definitely going to attach the floatstone because we don't know if we can get in. Um, we're definitely just going to bridge it. I definitely think... I think I want to get two Zoras and then a Wimpod out, so we can do some double trades. Um, we're not going to retreat. We're going to keep that out. Now, hopefully, he doesn't get a Vicavolt out turn two, because if he does, then we're going to be in a whole world of pain. So he's going to Evo Soda. I mean, if you have the Bulu, not the Bulu, but the Vicavolt in hand, I mean, I guess that could work. Uh, let's see what he had. Fisherman uh, and and a lightning energy. Okay, so we're just gonna lay some damage on with horn attack. Okay. Now I'm not gonna use this mallow, <laughs> or should I? You know, let's let's use the mallow. Uh, let's put Azora. Zoroark. We don't have any Zoros left, do we? No, so this will be pointless. Um, we don't have a floatstone attached to that Zoroark, so let's just put the let's put the Glissapod and Zoroark on top. Um, definitely gonna trade. Let's trade the Wally because we're not gonna need that at the moment. Draw into the two things that we want. That combo is pretty good. I like the combo. It's just sometimes it's situational because we might not draw into what we need. I mean, not what we need, but like we draw into what we need, but we don't draw. I'm trying to get, trying to say what I'm trying to say, you guys. I don't know if you guys will understand what I'm trying to say. That was a good top deck because we can uh, we can start laying on damage first turn. Well, not first turn, but first time we can attack. Second time we can attack. Um, now I don't have any. I don't have much experience with this deck. It's probably probably you guys are probably screaming at the screen like, "What the? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing?" Um, and I'm just playing it. You know, if I win, I win. That's how it was with the Zoroark um, Sidui. I only played a couple games until I actually. Why are people playing how? I'm just gonna end this whole hand down. Um, see. Really searching for the Vicavolt. There you go. GX. What? Why are you playing this? Um. Okay. That's cool. I think we're gonna uh, goose out this Bulu at the bench if he um, wildernesses, Dapu wildernesses, and heals his damage. 
Here we go. So we're going to Guzma up that right there. We do get the DCE. Should I just end his hand down? If I get the floatstone off of Sycamore, I can. Well, let's trade. Um, I don't want a Sycamore yet, I don't believe. I might want a Sycamore after. No, let's let's do this, because he's got too many cards in hand. I don't know what he has for that in his hand. We draw into another DCE. Um, we might just want to... Hmm. <sighs> Let's trade one more time. Let's trade off this Wally. What did we get off the Wally? We get a Wimp Pod. Okay. I'm just trying to fill up my bench right now. Um, put a DCE down on that. Definitely just going to end here. Get his hand down to six. We do get the Float Stone. So. The question is. Okay, so we're gonna put that definitely gonna put that down um, let's retreat into this Zoroark and let's just write his beating for 130 yeah 130 okay so now he's basically forced to either retreat back or else he gets this knocked out we can force this down into um, we're pretty much gonna win unless he has a rare candy next turn which we might just end his hand he has town map okay enhanced hammer this is a weird build of uh vicavolt bulu well my question is why is he running fisherman okay he's got another nest ball this might just be a vicavolt gxx with some type of bulus thrown in there Definitely an odd deck. If he's running enhanced hammers, I'm curious to see where they're at. Now, does he have a Guzma? Uh, he already played Howl this turn. So he's just going to charge this up really quick. He might do Nature's Judgment and discard all three of his energies uh, just to, to put as much damage as he can until it dies. Um, we're gonna discard all the energies. Hmm. He opted not to. I don't know if I agree with that play. Let's definitely get our last Glissa pie because once one might be prized. I did not check. Um, definitely evolve that. I'm gonna trade really quick. Trade this in away. Should have traded the breakthrough. Uh, the this will work actually. Okay. Now the question is, so we're gonna have this get knocked out. Hmm. Huh. Let's Acerola our Zoroark right here. Um, let's put out this Kalisopod. So now he's out in this turn, so he's going to be doing 120. Is he going to be able to... I wonder if he has the rare candy. Let's put this Zoroark down. Um... I feel like I want to just put the DCE down. Actually, I just might want to knock it out because I don't think he's going to get enough energies for this to do anything next turn. Uh, unless he gets a choice ban. Let's put the choice ban down on the Glissapod. And then let's use this. Let's just 
first impression. No, it's armor press because it's going to reduce 20, 20 damage. So if he does have the, the um, what's it called? If he does have uh, the choice band, sorry, I can't talk right now. Um, the choice band, then he will be doing 80, then reduce over, so it's only be, that's gonna be 60. He will still knock me out, but at least I knock this out. Okay, he's just gonna go for this Bulu. He's gonna, if he finds the choice band, okay, does he have the choice band though? He does not. As far as I know, he's only gonna be doing 30. Okay. So I have 50 health left. Um, let's trade really quick. Let's trade off this Bridget. Do we get the float stone? We do not get the float stone. I really just want to draw, drag this out. Let's. One, two, three, one twenty. One, two, three, so a hundred damage. Kind of just want a crossing cut. Let's trade. I want to trade off this ultra ball. What do we get? Okay, we get this energy. So I feel like I just want to retreat back and hmm. I don't know if I want to do that actually. Let's crossing cut and retreat back to the Lele. So that next turn we can just retreat back into the this Galissapod and knock any let's knock this out right here. Now if he does have the Guzma and an energy to attach to this, uh, he will Okay, he has a rare candy. So he will knock this out. He's gonna strong charge definitely. Now why oh because you can yeah. That's fine. I don't want to. I don't really want to end him right now, just because he's really stuck. He hasn't even got a card yet, a uh, prize card actually. So, I have to put the electric onto that. Yep. Now he's gonna nature's judgment discard all those energies. That's fine. I didn't really want this hand anyways. You're giving me a bigger deck size. Okay. Cool. 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 We have the float stone. So we don't have to put this out. So is he gonna discard all three? Yes, he is. All right. Now, how many ace rolls do we have left? We have one left. Okay. Now, yeah, let's just, um, Let's just put this out because we have a foot stone. Uh, we don't. We might draw on. Not not draw, but get a glitch spot off our prizes. So let's do that. Um. I definitely want to attach a float stone to here right now. Let's see if we trade off the Coco. If we can get what we really want. That's not what we wanted. I don't even know what we're looking for right now, actually. I think we've got what we need. We need to, we got this to knock out. Um, let's, let's apply some damage. How much is it doing? 180. Let's Guzma this out. He can't nature judgment that anymore. Um, let's put this out. And let's first impression do 150. Get that low. And next turn, if he can't do anything, 
then we'll be good because we can just lay, lay down. Um, okay. All right, that's fine. If we lay, lay down now. Hmm. We need the DCE next turn, definitely, to knock this out. Okay, onto the top of Bulu. That's fine. And I don't know why you're doing that, because you're just gonna super zap cannon. Just, I mean, I guess you're not gonna live for another turn, so that's a good idea. Now we already used his GX attack, so all he's gonna do is the 180. Now it does bring us down to 210, which I am fine with. I mean, it brings us down to 30 health, not 210. Uh, I can put the Lele down for Acerola. That definitely sounds like a good idea. Hmm. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Let's just put the Lele down. Get that Acer roll that's prized. Cool. Okay. Let's just grab an N. Okay. So the Acer roll is probably going to come in handy very soon. Let's put a choice ban. Let's put down this one pod. How many rescue should? Okay. So let's just end. We haven't used any of our Zoroark trades yet. So bring him down to four. We're not really looking for anything right now, are we? Oh, we're looking for DCEs actually. So let's trade. I know we have one left in deck, so let's trade this Sycamore. And we don't get it. Let's trade one more time let's trade the field blower and we don't get it that's fine um, hmm. okay that's fine uh, let's just let's just apply some damage he will get his first um, well not his first two actually what did he knock out before uh, a lele. Okay. That's fine. Let's see what he gets. Alright, he has a float stone. Okay. Now he is just going to top of Ulu GX. Not GX, but he's going to bring the top of Ulu out. Uh, I'm not sure what he's going to try and do. Skyla. Rare can energy recycler. Okay. Okay. Gonna shuffle back all those energies right there. Put them back to his deck. That's cool. All right, this video is running pretty long. Hopefully, we can end this pretty soon. Now I might have misplayed a couple times. If you guys did see me misplay call me out because I'm uh, I'm not too experienced with this deck at all even Glossopod in general okay he's just charging this up like he's um, gonna be able to do something about that but he's gonna charge me that is gonna make it to where we can bring out something such as the Warark GX we can bring this in now, I'm not sure if I want to do that actually then it'll make it to where he can just knock this out and get his last two prize cards. We're actually in kind of a pickle. Let's get the DCE. So let's trade. Definitely just want to trade off this Ultra Ball. Draw into the DCE. We don't get the DCE, but we do get the Rescue Stretcher. So... Uh, we can get our Galissapod back. Uh, let's do that real quick. Put it back from our discard pile. Ok. 
Okay, how many cards we got left? 10, okay. How many DCs we have in grave? Not grave, but discard none. So we should have at least three. And unless they're all right here, which they might be. Uh, let's attach choice band down to there. Let's trade off this Zoroark. Hopefully we draw into a DCE. And we still don't get the DCE. Might as well put the float stone down. Let's in. We really need the DCE. And we still don't get the DCE. Wow. Okay. We still might win though. I might just want to attach the top of Lily. Now let's attach on the Zoroark. I don't know really what I'm trying to do here. Let's treat back. Definitely put this out. Now the issue is if he ends our hand away, we don't get our Guzma. Where is our Acerola? There it is. And there's our third Gulisapod. Now, if these last two are DCEs, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I am legitimately going to be upset. So, let's, we're going to ace roll this up. Now, if he can, if he has a Guzman hand, we lose. And we put up a good fight. But, hopefully he does not. I don't think he has any. No, he does not. I don't know if he's used any. He has not. So, let's see what he does. He's definitely going to put out that. Yeah. We should have saved the crossing cut for when we had a list pot with GX with uh, a choice ban and was able to knock out that Tapu Bulu. So he's going to load up on Vickabolt. Not sure why. Um, he might force us into a th one prize left game. He's going to put those back into his hand. Is he going to end? Please don't end. We just use a supporter actually, so we can't end. So we're fine on that. Just gonna attach another energy down on that. Now, I'm curious to see what his plan is. We still don't get that DCE. It's a good thing we put this down though. Um, I feel like I want to Acerola the Galissapod. Or just knock this out. But then he'll just bring this in. Let's. Hmm. Let's put that back up to our hand. Let's bring out the Zoroark. Let's put the Wimpod down. No, oh, please don't. Okay, good. Whew. Um. Definitely put the choice band down on it. We're not going to trade at all. We don't need to trade. We're going to write us beating this. Now, if he tries to run away, all we're going to do is Guzma that out. But if he has a Guzma and gets our Galispod GX, then that's game. So, hopefully, I don't. I haven't seen him running any Guzmas. Okay, he's going to Ultra Ball. What is he going to grab? What is he going to grab? If he has, please don't be a Lele. I don't know what he grabbed. What did it say? Top of Coco GX. Okay. I see what he did there. Okay. 
and he's just gonna put this out he doesn't have a GX attack so he's just wasting that basically so we just Guzma out his Tapa Bulu GX and we win now we get a strong charge onto this Vigabolt again still don't know why you're doing that still no okay he's gonna stick him more so that means he will not be able to Guzma so we do win unless he escape ropes which I might just put out this one pod <laughs> Alright, are you gonna put out anything? Field blower, okay. Uh, field blower, anything off that you want? It's not gonna help you out. All I have to do is Guzma. Wonder if he thinks I'm only running. No, definitely not running, only running one. Okay, he's taking out the float stones off of the glissopods. So, uh, this is game. All we have to do is put this. I just want to put this out in case we don't have game because sometimes that can happen. And all we gotta do is Guzma. Put this out. And first impression. And that's game. Alright, that is the Glissopod Zoroark GX deck. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, it's definitely a cool deck. It's a cool concept. Now, I may have screwed up, so if I did, um, let me know um, and in the comments so that I can learn from it and hopefully better myself on it. So, let's just get a look into the deck. Open this up, and here we are. So this is the deck. If you guys have any tweaks or any comments that you want to leave saying what I should do or change to the deck, please leave it in the comments. Um, I like the deck how it stands right now. Um, it's definitely good. I feel like I should take out maybe a Wally for Acerol. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to do one more video on this and then I'll, I'll, I'll test the deck out and put new stuff in the deck um, if I really feel like it's needed. But uh, that should be it. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'm sorry it was about 37, 37 minutes long. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.